guys this is qsg uh, so today we're going to do the takeoff of our super stretch so if you didn't see the a video about the takeoff list that that's the video we did the last time that's our last my last video so go and check on that one so that you you stay will be on the same page as i'm explaining the takeoff so we're going to start with a, a waste calculations for external walls so ext on external walls we're going to calculate get we we use the get as our length for the external wall so we're going to say 2 by 8895 8 yeah we add 2 by 6000 and then we get 29790 millimeters and then we are going to deduct 4 by 2 by half by 2 third and then we get 920 we are going to deduct 920 from this number we get 28870 millimeters so that's our gap or that's our length for external walls and then we come to internal walls so on our internal walls uh, we have wall A, B, C, D, E. So these walls are here. Let me show you on the plan. So for wall A, this one, we're going to take the measurement here. That's 1,800 uh, millimeters. And then wall B, the measurement is uh, it's on this side. That's 2,000. And then wall C, we're going to take this wall and the wall uh this wall from here up to this point also so i'm going to say 8895 deduct 115 by 2 since there are two one on fives that we have to deduct the one the other one it's here and the other one it's here so that's our wall c so never mind the the openings here i'm going to adjust them uh, we are going to make adjustments for all paintings so and then wall C wall D sorry um, this is our measurement here that will be two, 2840 and then wall E here uh, we have 2000, uh, 2815 so those are our wall if we sum up those walls we get if you make the summation of those walls we get eight thousand eighteen thousand one hundred and twenty millimeters um and then our height is twenty six sorry it's two thousand six hundred millimeters so where where i'm getting the height it's here on this section a a so this is our, our height we're going to take the this short height from from dpc up to whole plate height so that's 2600 so that's where i'm getting my height uh, so and then we, for for beam filling height we're going to say uh sorry um this height this height 2900 uh, minus 2600 and then we get 300 that's our beam filling height and then for cable ends uh, uh so that sometimes you won't be given the the two heights here for for beam filling so what you have to do to calculate the height for beam filling here on cable ends we mark it as x so we we use the angle theta which will be given and the and the and our adjacent here so and then we use that we use tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent which is also the same as x over 3000 so our answer we're going to get it if we say 3000 that's here we're going to make the change of subject so that x will become our subject so 
if we say 30,000 tan theta, which will be our given angle, here, here on this plan we are not given the angle. So that's 30,000 tan theta, or whether it can be 25 degrees or it can be 22 degrees. So let's just see it to be 22 degrees. That's 3,000 tan theta. Uh, tan 22 degrees is equal to our x. And then that will be your answer. So x here, when you get the value when you substitute for theta. You are going to get the value for x. So that's it for waste calculations. So and then for brick force. Uh, brick force, some of you may know it, uh, we say the, the cosite times the number of courses uh, which, uh, which you are going to put brick force. If we say we are going to put brick force after four courses like here, we multiply by that. If you are going to say we put brick force after five courses, you can use five, you can use three, you can use two depending on what you want or on the specifications on the plan and then so the, our code site you are going to calculate the core site for one course that would be 75 that's the height of a common brick and then plus 10 that's the thickness of the mortar um, and then we're going to say by one um, we were, we were saying this 1000 divided by the cos height and then we get this one and then we are going to use this one to calculate it I'm going to make the a video about brick force that's why I didn't put the calculations for brick force here so our description for brickwork um, brickwork to external wall uh, external brick hole in common